then, now, for the moment you all have been waiting for... Winners of the giveaway. Move that pink box. Hey everybody, it's Cory. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to day 21 of Vlogmas. We are in the home stretch, my friends. We're almost done. And it is almost Christmas. And I am so, so, so excited. And it is really hot in here. Wow. So, as you can tell by today's video, we are doing a holiday lookbook, which is a little weird for me. I really don't do things like this, but I thought it might be a little fun change of pace. So, here we are. And before we jump right into the video, we are going to do a little shameless plug. So please make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit the little bell icon so you get the notification every single time that I post a new video. I upload videos on Tuesdays and on Thursdays, except for right now because it's Vlogmas, but we are almost back to the regular schedule, so I'll see you on Tuesdays and Thursdays very, very soon. And follow me on Instagram, please. Please, it makes me feel really good. Also, please make sure that you stay tuned to the end of the video because today is the day that we are announcing the winners for the Fenty Beauty Haul and the Michael Kors giveaway. So make sure you stay tuned. So these outfits that me and my sister picked out for this video are our way of showing you our holiday style with the kind of things that we have at home that are more staple items. That way you don't have to go out and buy a whole bunch of crazy Christmas themed items that you're only going to wear once a year and you can dress them up and make them look as holiday as you want. So let's do it. Roll the tape. So this outfit right here is pretty much straight up all black a little splash of color given to us by this lovely scarf. I honestly can't remember where I got it, but it's a plain black long sleeve shirt, a knitted skirt that I got from a friend, and a black pea coat that I got for Christmas one year for my grandmother, completed with little black booties that I wear all the time. I love them, love them so much. You could go as far as putting on like black tights underneath the skirt, I personally did not have any, but if you want to be a little more modest, that's a really good way to do it. I also did not really dress this up too much with any accessories because the scarf is the accessory. So, of course, no Christmas outfit could be complete without a nice red color to it. And in this instance, we are wearing a red velvet tank top. It does have a little bit of glitter up the top. And down below, we are pairing it with just some plain black leggings, dress the top down just a little bit, and add some glitter heels to match the glitter on the top. This outfit is a very, very simple outfit. We are pairing this outfit with black leggings again, and it is a green off the shoulder top. I love this top. I actually bought it secondhand from an online website called Vinted. I do thrift, in quotation marks, thrift a lot of my things that I buy. So I do buy secondhand. If you guys are interested to see how I do that, please let me know. I can make a video about it. We paired it with these cute little sequin shoes. They're not quite white. They're like a cream ivory-ish kind of color. I don't really know how to describe it, but super cute, super stylish, very casual. If you are a queen looking to slay this year, let me tell you, you need to hit your family's house with that little black dress. I know all of us have a little black dress, and if you do not have a little black dress, Pause this video and go buy one, please. You need it. It is a staple. The little black dress I have is a knitted little black dress, so it's perfect for the winter. It does have a little bit of a scoop neck with the cutouts on the shoulder, so it shows off a little bit of skin. And I paired it with a scarf. You can pair it with whatever you want. Just make sure you're wearing the right bra so the bra straps don't show through. And I did pair this dress with a pair of little cute black heels. I actually got from Goodwill. I bought them for my Ariana Grande Instagram challenge, which if you haven't seen, I'll like that card for you. It's a good video, but super cute. 
super fun and you will be guaranteed to look the best at your family's Christmas party. And isn't that all you ever wanted was to be the best looking one? Honestly, this outfit is just for fun because I thought everybody has an ugly Christmas sweater that you wear to ugly Christmas sweater parties. And if you don't, then, I don't know, you're lame, I guess. But this Christmas sweater, I saw it last year. It is the most heinous thing I have ever seen in my entire life with all the bulbs that stick out and it's sequin and it gets caught in your hair and it lights up and it has elbow pads. Like, it is a mess. And I love it. And you can turn any ugly Christmas sweater into an outfit that looks super, super cute. So this outfit is definitely a very casual outfit. If you're more on the casual side, you don't really like to dress up, this one's for you. It is just a plain pair of ripped light blue skinny jeans and a gray long sleeve shirt. It does have the knit print on it and a little design on the shoulder, which I thought was really cute. And I paired it with some tan booties. Keep it simple. So last but not least, this outfit is definitely the crowd favorite outfit. It is super cute and it's somewhere between casual and runway. I love it. It's very much my style. I took a cropped gray turtleneck. It is a crop top. I got it from Charlotte Russe. It's really, really cute. Really, really comfortable. Paired it with a pair of high-waisted black leggings. And I threw a tan peacoat over it, which I think we got from Primark. It's really, really cute. I love it so, so, so much. And paired it with some tan booties to match the tan coat. And we paired it with the black pants because the black trim on the coat. I think it's super cute, super, like, stylish. Like, people are going to know that you put time into your outfit. Super cute. I love it so, so, so much. I really hope that you like these outfits. I hope you got some inspiration out of them. I had so, so, so much fun putting on all these outfits and trekking out through the snow in all of these heels and trying not to die. I did it for the gram. I did it for the YouTube. I did it for you guys. You're welcome. And now for the moment you all have been waiting for. Winners of the giveaway. So, let's see. So the winner of the Michael Kors purse, it doesn't give, oh, I hate that it doesn't give me names, it just gives me emails, so I feel really weird. But the winner of the Michael Kors giveaway is Morgan McBride 50 at yahoo.com. And the winner of the Fenty Beauty Hall is wowson3425 at gmail.com. You guys have 24 hours to message me on Instagram, on YouTube, somewhere so I can get the details to ship it to you. If you do not message me in 24 hours, you are going to forfeit your prize and I will pick a new winner. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I feel like a real YouTuber. Like, That's pretty much all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for day 22 of Vlogmas. Thank you, thank you so much for watching day 21 of Vlogmas. I hope you liked the outfits I picked. I hope you got some inspiration for your holiday parties coming up and to see your family. Down below, I do have yesterday's Vlogmas. If you did miss it, it is a cover of my favorite Christmas song. And... Please make sure you hit that subscribe button on the left before you head out. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for day 22 of Vlogmas.